The Dragon's Digital Awakening, a 2025 snapshot. China's tech progress is remarkable now, it is no longer just catching up. The nation now leads in many areas. This transformation is very rapid indeed. We see these changes everywhere in 2025. The government's strategic plans are key. They focus on vital technology sectors. This creates a powerful innovation engine. This journey began some decades ago. It started with basic manufacturing industries. Then, China moved to careful imitation. Now it is true, deep innovation. Chinese companies are global tech names. They excel beyond just hardware now. They lead in software and new services. This shift is truly quite fundamental. China's huge domestic market offers a big edge. It allows for very rapid testing of ideas. It supports the quick scaling of tech. This is hard for other nations to match. Data is also abundant in China. This greatly fuels artificial intelligence development. The government actively promotes tech adoption. New technologies spread quickly among people. Roads to the future. Autonomous mobility and pervasive AI. Autonomous vehicles are more common now. They are seen in major Chinese cities. Shenzhen and Shanghai clearly lead this charge. Robotaxis carry passengers there every day. This is not just a small trial, it is a growing public transport service. Companies like Baidu invest very heavily. Their technology is advancing very fast. Flying taxis are also starting to appear. Ehang is one well-known example here. Their autonomous aerial vehicles are designed. They are for urban air mobility solutions. These are not just dreams from fiction, they are in real-world testing phases. New regulations are being carefully developed. This could change our city transport. Underpinning these transport changes is AI. China made AI a national strategic priority. AI is used in managing city traffic. It helps optimize complex delivery routes. It enhances public safety through smart cities. Facial recognition technology is widely used. This brings benefits but also some concerns. The government sees AI as vital. Powering the nation thorium and a new energy blueprint. China seeks cleaner, sustainable energy sources. Thorium reactors are a key part of this. These advanced reactors offer many advantages. They could be much safer than old designs. They produce less long-lived radioactive waste. China is a clear leader in this research. The first experimental reactor is now working. This is a major scientific and engineering step. The potential implications are truly enormous. If successful, thorium could give abundant energy. This would greatly reduce coal dependence. It would help China meet climate targets. It also offers greater energy security. Thorium is more plentiful than uranium in China. This technology is still developing now. But China's commitment remains very strong. Other nations also explore thorium power. India has very large thorium reserves. They have a long-term reactor program. However, China's progress appears faster now. Their focused state investment really helps. The US and Europe scaled back nuclear. This gives China a distinct opening here. They are seizing this energy opportunity. Beyond connectivity, China's vision for 6G dominance. While 5G networks are still expanding worldwide, China is already setting its sights on 6G. The government, along with firms like Huawei, is investing heavily in this future. Research into core 6G technology is already quite advanced. They aim to set the global standards, learning from past generations that leadership in standards brings huge advantages. 6G promises much faster speeds and even lower latency than 5G. It could enable truly immersive experiences like holographic real-time communication. Imagine interconnected smart cities and homes and the possibility of integrating networks with satellites to provide truly global seamless coverage. China's approach to 6G is very proactive. They're filing many new patents, conducting early technology trials, and building strong research coalitions. This contrasts with some other regions. While the US and Europe are also researching 6G, China's national coordination is quite powerful. Harvesting innovation, biomanufacturing and a greener tomorrow. Biomanufacturing is another key frontier where China is investing heavily. This involves using advanced biological systems to produce chemicals, materials and even fuels. 
It offers a sustainable production alternative and China sees great potential in this field as it aligns with environmental protection goals and supports new economic growth and development. Synthetic agriculture is a part of this, including things like lab-grown meat and advanced cellular agriculture. It aims to produce our food better, using far fewer valuable resources and potentially having a lower ecological impact. Chinese companies are investing in this now, with the government being very supportive. China's progress in gene editing and synthetic biology is notable, as these are core for biomanufacturing success. There's much investment in research and development, and the regulatory environment is evolving to balance new innovation with safety. This field is globally very competitive, with the U.S. having strong established biotech firms. The systemic surge geopolitics in an era of Chinese tech ascendancy. China's tech revolution is no accident. It's not just random market forces at play, it's the result of a systemic plan. With the government playing a very central role, they set clear strategic tech directions, provide substantial research funding, and foster close collaboration within the nation. This whole-of-nation approach is pretty powerful. This model contrasts with other approaches like in the West, where market-driven innovation and private sector competition are the main drivers, with government involvement often being less direct. China's model has distinct advantages, especially in key strategic sectors like AI, energy, and 6G, where it can mobilize resources on massive scales. The geopolitical ramifications are very significant. China's growing tech prowess is changing things, shifting global power dynamics quickly, and challenging the long-standing U.S. tech leadership. It creates new global dependencies, where nations may need to choose tech ecosystems, potentially leading to a more divided world, or perhaps new forms of cooperation. The future is being actively shaped now.